hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video i'll be telling you about how not to get scammed when selling your feet pictures online so i'm just going to give you a list of things you should um pay attention to when you decide to sell your feet pictures online in order not to get scammed so for now you're going to know how not to get scammed when you're selling your feet pictures online give answers to any personal questions do not give answers to any questions just like you're not giving out your name your address your phone number or your credit card information people can use that to do something else in your name and you would not want your information out there being used by someone you don't know to do like criminal things so that is why you're supposed to give out your personal information so like information your buyer should be asking us like things about the feet, you know, like nail polish color and all things like that, but not things like your full name and like, you know, things like that. No, 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 no. The buyer shouldn't be asking you things like that. So if a buyer is asking you things like that, you do not give answers to those type of questions because they are too sensitive. So as I always say in the previous videos, you have to remain anonymous okay you cannot use your real name you can't use like all the real information about yourself you can't do that you have to just be anonymous so the second thing is to never show your face in the photos okay i know some people when they are buying your feet pictures they request for your face in it or some of you would want to have your face in there because it pays more so that is fine if yeah if you don't mind and you're comfortable with that that is totally fine you should note this okay whenever you feel uncomfortable with a client you don't need to continue with the whole transaction if if it's too uncomfortable and you have a problem with it you can report the person on whichever platform you are on so make sure you save and protect yourself any way you can during a face picture transaction do not accept gift cards no gift cards okay so you can get scammed that way you can get scammed by accepting gift cards and you do not want that you don't accept gift card because the gift card could be it's not even like it could be stolen and you do not want that yeah as i'm saying with a gift card the person it might not be like real or they are just planning on canceling the whole transaction after they give you the gift card they might be considering canceling the whole transaction after they receive the photos some people take like electronic gift cards where like it comes with a code so when they get a code they'll immediately like go on amazon or whichever store they want to buy from and just use it right away before they will actually like give out the photos to their customer but i don't know if you want to go through all that process because it's not always that you have like things in your wish list or in your cart that you have like a code to buy immediately so you might really want like a payment that will be convenient for you so another thing some some of these clients might do is to like overpay you so some people might also overpay you and later tell you to send them back the difference like why would you want to overpay me and ask for the difference like why are you overpaying me to begin with so you don't want to be involved in something like that you don't want with anything back and forth you don't want to be involved with all that you don't want to be in that position with them so avoid that avoid being overpaid thing is to stick to your price so if you decide to sell your feet photo for ten dollars or fifteen dollars just like stick to the ten dollars stick to the fifteen dollars because if you don't do that it means like you're seeing your work is not like high quality or like if you do that they don't feel they can always come to you for you to reduce prices of your feet pictures so like just set your price and stick to it and like let them know how much you worked hard to create that content. Let them know how hard you worked to create that content. 
So if you set your price, you make sure you stick to it. So I talked about how you should always watermark your videos before you post them either on social media or anything. So I know like you would think, so how will me putting watermark on my pictures help prevent me from getting scammed? Because in this case, you make sure you're gonna get your money first before you give them an image without the watermark. Okay, so I'm going to make, so I'm gonna show you in another video how you can put a watermark on your picture, on your fixed pictures. Always make sure the money is sent. Make sure you have received your payment before you send the image, the original image. Make sure you receive the payment before you send the original image. And if you receive the payment on Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, you have to make sure like you transfer the money out of your account into your bank account before you send because you don't want them to cancel the transaction after you send them the picture so when you see the payment transfer the money then you send them the picture just to be on the safe side for example paypal has a refund policy so you don't want to be in that position transfer your money first before you transfer before you give them the picture transfer your money before you transfer the picture So I know you've been thinking, why do people scam people's fit pictures? Sometimes it's because they want to sell your fit picture to other people. That is why they will scam you of your fit pictures. Others also want to see your fit pictures, but they want to see your fit pictures for free. And some people just do not have money to pay for the fit pictures, but they want to see the fit pictures. Some people also have the money to pay for the fake pictures, but they just don't want to pay for the fake pictures. But then they want to see the fake pictures. So like another thing you should know is even though like you can sell your fake pictures online and through like DMs and all that, you have to make sure like you check the person's page to make sure they are legit and like real people before you can, or you're absolutely sure like you can sell this to them. And even with that, you should remember you got you have to get paid first. You have to get paid first before you deliver the picture to them. So if you enjoyed this video, if this video was informational enough, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and make sure you watch all my other videos on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Watch the next videos because it's gonna be informational. Ooh. Where's Garrett?